Imagine if our food were brought to us by dedicated and almost invisible angels. Imagine them flying effortless and iridescent with a beauty more extraordinary than any art of ours can ever replicate. Imagine if those mysterious beings worked freely to keep alive almost the entire living world, including birds, animals, and ourselves, offering us a myriad of flowers and the feast on feast of exuberant life. Imagine if these angels also gently and tactfully disposed of the dead, unobtrusively cleaning corpses, tucking the dead back into the deep bed of earth so they can re-become life in another form. Without insects, we would wade through corpses with every step we took. I wish that everyone who said they believed in angels would actually believe in insects. They do not take the title of angels, being by nature bashful and unassuming. They go by other names, firefly, bee, and caddisfly. But we humans, it seems, value irreal angels more than the priceless reality of insects. A secret commonwealth, the insect realm encompasses more species than we have identified. The insects, hallowed be thy names, some of which are pure poetry. The orchid bee, coloured in bronze and ultramarine, purple and gold, the ladybird, the glass-winged butterfly, the emerald swallowtail, hidden in their very multitudes. Insects are together a gigantic collective of kindness, dancing in constant attendance to living things. Pollinating three quarters of our food crop and 80% of wild flowering plants, keeping the soil healthy. From their actions flow the countless forms of life, from apple blossom to bread and roses and the silver salmon, everything that has ever flowered and ever will. And from physical life flows everything to be treasured in human life, from existence itself to the highest of the arts. It is ultimately thanks to the insects that we have not just the flowering of plants, but the flowering of culture. Michelangelo salutes them, Notre Dame bows in thanks. No insects, no Mozart, no art, no music, no beauty, no love. Imagining a world without wings fills me with inconsolable sorrow. A wren, hungry and songless, a swift dropping to its death, the air emptied of life. Without insects and birds, we rob ourselves of all that flight represents the wings of mind, the flight of imagination, that mother of empathy. To them we owe everything, my life and yours and yours and yours. Without them we would lose the gold day, dust gecko, the thorny dragon, the sea turtle. But what is the point of listing what would be lost? We would lose, to put it bluntly, almost everything. Starvation would stalk the land for almost every kind of creature, including ourselves. Please tell me you understand the immensity of this. And if maybe you don't, please think, alone and quietly perhaps, of the unfolding ending. Let me speak simply into the simplicity of your heart and let me just ask you, what you love, what makes you happy? Is it a child? Is it your partner? Do you love your friend or little prince? Do you love your rose? Do you love your dog, your cat, your church, your home, your garden, your books, the poetry you make, the music? And this love then, this happiness that you hold so dear, tell me how it will even exist without the tiniest of beings against which we have been so utterly pitiless. It was the studies of insect collapse reported late in 2018 that first made me cry for insects. The horror of it swept over me and I cried for three days. I hate all kinds of bullying. And the fact that the insects are the tiniest creatures bullied by humans acting as monsters gave the facts an edge of very personal pain. But it was of course infinitely more than this. I saw in one awful moment a vision of the desolated world, a devastated wasteland, I don't want to be lyrical now. I just want to swear. The collective stupidity renders all my craft useless. What right has art 
can ever convey the vast, deadly and deliberate slaughter with all its consequences that are in sum the sum of it all, the everything. Where to go with this gigantic stupidity? What the fuck did we think we were doing and why the fuck are we still doing it? Intensive agriculture is killing us by killing the insects. If I sent a tweet, I would write only this. Mass use of insecticides leads to mass death of insects. And I'm like, duh, who knew? Insecticides should be made illegal overnight. Every scrap of land turned to organic agriculture. Every shred of mental energy requisitioned for love, essentially, the love of life. Writers sometimes tell their readers when they struggle for words, when they experience writer's block or when their psyches demand a fallow period. That admission is a touching one. It's a truth so precious. I do not use it lightly, but I use it now. The magnitude of this situation silences me. The words I lean towards are not enough. Tears, maybe, the raw scream of rage and pity, perhaps. But what words do you suggest I use here? Annihilation? The end of worlds? The last generation? Absolute apocalypse? If you were looking this full in the face, what expresses it sufficiently? And a savage anger overcomes me. This is not a game. Nature is not a hobby. It's the life on which we depend. Thank you.